Hey guys, it's Bonnie from Boulder Bond. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be setting up my sticker binders and I thought you guys might want to see my process. I did just do a huge sticker decluttering. If you guys want to see that, I'll leave a little card over here and then you guys can come right back and watch me set up those binders. So stay tuned and keep on watching. All right guys, so these are the main binders that I keep all of Boulder Bond stickers in for my personal use. Now you can see I have already set up the small mini binder and then I'm going to set up the larger one for you guys just so you see how I set everything up. Now all of my um, new sticker sheets will fit in the small binder and in the large binder. That's why I have been slowly reformatting all of my sticker sheets to have a little sidebar so that you guys can punch them inside the um, binder here. Now you guys um, can use an A5 or an A7 binder to fit all of my stickers. Now both of these binders are available in the shop today. Unfortunately I did not get my large shipment in that I wanted for Black Friday so there are not that many of these in the shop. So if you guys do want to get your hands on this then just pause the video and hurry on over there to get it. Otherwise, um, I believe that there is a button now that you guys can request a restock and then that way I know exactly how many I'm going to need to restock for you guys. So um, the mini binder in the shop come with six clear dividers with the tabs up top. Now they also come with two different sticker sheets here. Um, these ones are on matte removable paper where you guys will see the larger divider comes with clear sticker paper. Now the reason for that is the small binder because the tabs are up top they overlap each other so it was a little confusing to see um, what the tab said because it was overlapping the other clear one so um, you guys could see the font through it. So that's not the case with the larger binder since the um, tabs are on the right hand side. So um, we'll go ahead and flip you guys through this. Now I didn't use all of the sticker tabs and you guys can see this thing is mighty chunky yet there is still a ton of space to fit more and more stickers in here so it is very deceiving with the smaller ring here because this thing can hold a ton of sticker sheets so the first tab here I have is activities so I have like um, all of my activities here you guys could see the bonbon artist um, bake cookies, wrap presents. I have an animal section, which I don't have any animals in here yet. Um, I also have some boxes. Now these are fun like Ellie and sweet cake boxes. Um, also a celebrate section with uh, sweet cakes holding a balloon. And then I also have my character section. So this has like Ellie, all of my poop emojis in here. Um, and then I won't go through every single section, but I'll go ahead and flip you through some of them. So this one was my food and drink section here. I also have my wine in here and my hot chocolate. Um, some functional stickers in here. My moon stickers. Um, a health icons. Social media tab of course because I always use those. Um, my weather tab with all of my new reformatted weather stickers. I also have a weekly section for my four teeny kits so the four teeny kits will fit in the small binder here um, and then I also have um, winter stickers here with all of my cute snow bonds back here and then I also have spring summer and fall and then in the back here I also have a little zipper pouch and that um, is carrying the extra little tabs that I have in here so you guys also will get the choice to use this kind Kind of like a planner if you prefer and it comes with January through December or you can separate it instead of just having the winter spring summer and fall um, so you can separate your stickers that way so let's go ahead and set up 
have the larger binder. Um, this is going to be a little bit different than the smaller binder because I do have binder um, like laminated covers. So I have a couple choices in the shop right now. Uh, I have the planner girl. So if I was going to set this up to use as a planner, I would use these. So it comes with six different laminated um, dividers. I also have, um, I believe my uh, moon dividers as well. I didn't grab those. And then I also have the all the stickers with the Bon Bon here. So I'm going to go ahead and put these in here. There are six of them. And then I plan on using the six um, dividers that this planner comes with in between. So let's go ahead and do that first. All right, so I went ahead and put the dividers in. Now, if you guys do order these in the shop, you do get a choice of having them punched or unpunched. Um, this one is for the A5, so I have mine already punched. Now, I don't think I mentioned that in both the A5 and A7, it does come with a ruler. And then also in um, this one, it will come with six different um, clear dividers with the option to add more clear dividers if you like. Um, and then it also comes with two clear um, sticker tab dividers. Now this one is mainly for your planner binder and then this one is for your sticker binder but you guys can see you can use these for both things pretty much. So um, I'm going to go ahead and actually use some of the um, matte removable functional stickers. So um, I think I wanted to use them out on the tabs here first and then that way I can separate um, the clear dividers in side my tab. So I want to go ahead and figure out the six different tabs that I want to use for my um, mat removable here. Okay, so I decided on the first one being my deco stickers right on the front here. And then for the second one, I went with functional. So I can put all of my functional stickers within this same divider here, and then maybe separate um, the functional stickers with the clear dividers. Um, and then my social media, because I do grab for the social media stickers pretty much every day, guys. So um, I definitely wanted to have a tab for that. Um, these are matte removable that way if you do decide to change up your categories um, it, they're super easy to get off so I wanted to make sure that that was um, accessible for you guys and then the next one I went with weekly so I can put down my weekly kits in here and then also for my monthly kits. Um, all right, so I think that that is a good start. Um, so let's go ahead and start adding some stickers in here. Now I did pull out a couple of sheets. Like I said, anything that had a border, um, I was able to punch and then put in here. I have already organized all of my other stickers and the stickers that um, I have in my shop that didn't come with the side border are in that organization system. If you guys didn't see that video, like I said, I will leave a little card here and in the description down below if you guys want to check that out. All right, now the functional section is going to be probably the largest of all of them. So I want to make sure that I put in dividers. Um, that way I um, can come to the functional section and know exactly where things are. So let's get those together. All right, so I have a ton of options to choose from first. So I think what I'm going to do, instead of making a section for my quarter boxes, flags and dots, half boxes and full boxes, is kind of put them all together. That way I know right up front that all of these stickers are something that I can write on. So like my oval stickers, the full box stickers, the paper clip um, notes. So um, all of these I can just grab from all of my black and white stickers are going to be right at the front so I don't think any tab is going to be needed. All right so I'm going to go ahead and start labeling um, some of these. Now I didn't grab all of my stickers although I have a feeling that this will be filled up throughout the day. Um, so the first category I went with is activities so I put in some school day stickers. Now I don't go to school but I still can use a lot of these stickers. I 
also think that it will be really nice to mark when my nieces and nephews start school again um, and then also to remind me to make new school stickers for you guys so um, I also have a chores section so of course like laundry things like that I just chose a couple sticker sheets that I have around so my bill due stickers um, meeting work stickers here um, date covers now these ones are used date cover sheets um, but I think that this is going to be very useful for me that way I'm not actually pulling full date cover sheets um, and looking here first so I tend to do that especially in my old um, sticker organization I had a lot of the same sticker sheets so I think this is definitely going to help me use all of my stickers first all right um, I also have a headers category so I'm going to put all of my um, washi strips here or leftover headers from any of my kits will go here um, a health section so all of my of course health stickers um, I have my hydrate stickers here icons will all go here so it doesn't have to ju be just be a full sheet of icons it can be like money um, piggy banks things like that will all go in the icon section I also have a party section so I have my happy birthday stickers here also any like anniversaries or any type of celebration will go into the party section um, all of my trackers so I have my full box trackers um, with cute little bonbon in the background um, my no spend trackers also another no spend tracker and then these are my bullet journal trackers that I have here now I have a couple of them because like I said um, there are days that I just reach for the stickers um, instead of looking for them so now I have them all here all right so I did put in a couple of my social media stickers here as well um, I definitely need to be using those guys up and now I have my seasonal section weekly section and monthly section so I'm going to turn this around because I kind of wanted to play with the seasonal section here because you know you can use this like a binder as well so you can keep all of your stickers in here and then put January through December in here and also have your binder um, like planner in here also um, I do have vellum in my shop but I haven't actually actually put it out for sale yet um, so I have just been playing with it I just have this folded sheet here I thought it'd be fun to put this in my seasonal section to kind of separate um, my winter stickers and keep them here um, let's go ahead and do that I also have four other um, dividers that I can put in for winter spring summer and fall so I'm gonna go ahead and do that as well alright so I went ahead and put down the winter spring summer and fall and then I cut the vellum because um, you could put it in there folded if you wanted to but I wanted to use it um, to separate the winter stickers actually let's put it on the winter side here um, that way it will be such a fun little thing to separate each season with some vellum or you guys can do whatever you want I just think that this is such a fun little addition now I have a couple stickers left over from my um, craft bundle so I'm gonna go ahead and put this one here and then I also have my decal as well and I thought that that would be fun to put the let it snow right in the middle of the vellum here yay I think that that looks really nice and of course it is screaming winter all right now moving on to the weekly section here I pulled out my brand new winter wonderland collection now most of my kits are already reformatted with the sidebar here now this one in particular does have a large side washi not all of them do but I am starting to go with that now if you wanted to hold on to the washi strip instead of punching it I would pull it out first of course before you punch it now if you're anything like me you probably have a bunch of like blank sticker sheets laying around like this one here um, I just have a couple of headers here so if you want um, you can just pull the sticker paper off um, I'm just gonna pull this whole thing off and then start putting in my washi strips 
on top of it. Now I'm going to leave a little bit of space over here so that I can punch it. I may not keep these extra stickers, but if I can, I'll just move them around. All right, I went ahead and punched and put in the rest of the weekly kit. Now I could have put this with the winter section as well, but I decided to just show you what it was like um, to put in the weekly section. Now you can also have a full binder of just the weekly section, which I might do in the future once all of my kits are reformatted. That may be something that I move to. Um, now the monthly section is a little bit different because um, I actually don't have side borders on my monthly view yet. Now I don't know if I will be changing the format, um, but there is another option. I do have these plastic sleeves which are also available in the shop right now um, and you can put these in the back of the planner, in the front of the planner, wherever you like. Um, but for now, I think I'm going to keep mine at the back of the planner. So I have my December monthly and my notes kit. Now you can put a bunch of things in um, the sleeve here, um, but I think I'm going to actually put them front to back. That way I know that um, I already have my monthly and my notes kit in here. Now I also have the zipper pouch that fits this as well. Again, this can fit a ton of stuff. Now I only have um, the little thank you for subscribing to my sticker bundle sheet in here. Um, again, I can punch this and probably just keep it with my Winter Wonderland kit, but I just wanted to give you guys a reference of all the things that you can put in here. Like of course, some washi strips, um, pens, pencils. Now you guys can see it is getting super tight here. Now I can close it, but I would recommend flipping over um, a lot of your sheets to hold more in here because this sucker can still hold a ton more. So you guys can see once you start flipping things through, you, you have a ton more room to hold more stickers. So I'm gonna go ahead and close it there so you guys can get an idea of how chunky this thing got with all of those stickers, but still, like I said, a ton more space to hold stickers. So that that is a look at my new sticker binder. I am so in love with it. Now I could also um, do without the front covers as well and just do um, it like this where I have everything, the clear tabs, but I absolutely love having the laminated cover here. That way I know it is my sticker binder. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me set up my brand new sticker binders. Again, these are on sale today for or Black Friday. Again, I am so, so sorry that I don't have a ton of them, but I do plan on getting more in the future. So if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching everyone, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!